Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, they wanna know what we like. I'm trying to see what she like. The red light, green light, the beam on. I used to wonder what it be like. It's a dream on. They won't catch me at the red light. My team on go. And that get on, you get your leg on. You gon' go. The city watch, cops try find a shooter. They don't know. We have been a block. If we're missing, I'll be gonna explode. I ain't never have a problem with a bitch or a hoe. Do a beam on the Glock and it's you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, and everybody who watches this content. Happy Thanksgiving. You know, Thanksgiving was yesterday for the folks who celebrate it. For those who don't, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, so Hitman Holla. Hitman Holla. Battle Rap Zone, Wildin' Out's own, St. Louis's own Hitman Hollow. To me, the biggest superstar in Battle Rap. Like, if you ended it all right now, he would probably be at the top. Highest viewed battles. You know, Hitman don't battle every week. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of battle rappers be battling every month. So they pad the stats. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a thousand battles. Hitman don't battle as much as a lot of other people do. But when he does, he makes an impact. He brings a crowd. He sells out venues. He is one of the innovators. He's been that way for a while. You know, he's transcended over the Wild and Out. But he was the one that was at Wild and Out that was really still competing. Like Charlie Clips is competing now. You know what I'm saying? Like he definitely is in his mold. But for a good four or five year stretch, Hitman Holla would still come back at least once or twice a year. And he would battle on a high level. Like, he would do two-on-twos with Verb. Uh, he would come back. He battled Tay Rock. Uh, he battled... Like, he, he was not... He was not... And the thing is, from a competition standpoint, he was not playing with it. Like, Charlie Clips would come back. But Charlie Clips would come back, and then he'll battle like a battle versus Rum Nitty, where he bullshitted through the battle. Or take another battle where he's freestyling. And they're doing all this other shit. Now, you know what I'm saying, in his last, I would say, year or so... He's been serious. He's been doing what he needed to do. But Hitman Holla has always been one who never took his foot off the gas. You know what I mean? You know, he like, it's all gas, no brakes. Win, lose, draw. Hitman Holla's going to bring what he brings. You know what I'm saying? Battling Calico, battling Cassidy, all this shit. And this has never stopped. So he put out a statement yesterday that caught my eye and caught the attention of a lot of battle rap fans. He said... Y'all battle rap must be weak. Y'all battle rap culture must be weak as hell. If a nigga with no bars, no pen, basic raps, ABC bars, can run it for over a decade, get paid the most, biggest star, most views, and consistently beat all the battlers that consistently beat all of y'all. Makes zero sense. Um, what he's saying is, yo, if, like people always be quick to say, Hitman don't got bars, Hitman don't got, you know, Triple Untouch of the Summer Lit, they're a mit mitigator, they're innovating, all of that. Like, he don't be rapping about generators and penetrate. He don't do that. Like, you know what he's doing. Like, Hitman re re remixes bars. I get the radar clip, I get the shooting, get the shooting like I'm J.R. Smith. Like, you know what he's coming with. You don't have to worry about whether did I rewind, did I miss that line, or did I rewind, rewind. But I've seen battles where... Hitman had bar bars. That means, oh, okay. Him versus Bill. I used the Tommy to get the white like the green ring. I said, oh, whoa. When, when, when you start, we're like, I ain't know it. Okay, man, all right, cool. And you know, before we go even further, you know what I'm saying, Hitman is still, you know, going through a situation where, you know, his home was invaded. His girlfriend was sending him was shot. And, you know, she's doing, it looks like she's doing well. She's recovering and things like that. My prayers and thoughts go out to them. Um, but, you know, Hitman's handles not to be played with. Like, y'all, yeah, like, he's not, he's not about to take no disrespect from no rappers, no leagues, no fans, no nothing. You gotta respect Hitman's handle and what he's doing. So, this all started when Easy the Block Captain, salute to Easy the Block Captain, everything that he's got going on, his come up, and things like that, you know what I'm saying? He asked, Hitman Fire, question mark, question mark, question mark, and this... I will not say from Easy, because Easy has been able to 
propel himself to probably the biggest new named battle rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like he's above everybody else. The new guy. We're not even gonna do this there. You could take A to Z. Easy to block captain is there. He he was booked for a battle with murder move, my nigga. Like they're not giving none of them. He just had chess and probably the best battle of the year. And he just got he had murder move on his line. Like nigga, I will battle. You. No no other new guys is getting no calls like that. It is what it is. You could do go back and forth, you can think about it, but it, when, by the time you think about it, I already thought about it, it ain't happening. So, um, he asked Hitman Fire, in some eyes, some people would look at it as fishing for a battle, or trying to bait Hitman's attention. I don't think so, He's. Just, I think he was just asking a, a sincere question, I mean, that he can ask what he likes. Hitman Holler comes out and says, ask the two leaders of your clique about me, ask the two leaders. Who was the two leaders of his clique? Tay Rock and Sue Surf. Both people that Hitman Holla has battled before. Basically saying, you can ask them niggas. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta tax around, ask around. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't got we ain't got to do this. Ask the niggas, you work for niggas that work for niggas that work for niggas that work for me. You go ask them niggas how how they how they how what they think about my handle. You know, Hitman has battled both of them. Beat Tay Rock, Surf too. That was, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. So, um, Easy the Black Captain responds, Hey, buddy, I know you're busy, but I'm, I know you're busy and all, but I'm outside. I would say small room, but you know, see? He's saying small room, but you know what he's trying to say, what Easy said, you know what I'm saying? This is what Easy said. He was trying to say Hitman and me can battle in a small room. And you can't knock... Easy's confidence for God for this because he just had a battle with Murder Moot. If you could get Murder Moot, you can get anybody else. That's probably that's what he's thinking. Like, nigga, if I call Hitman out and he responds and he shakes something, Nick, I could get him too. I don't blame you for that. It's a good thought process. Hitman automatically knew what that equaled by saying, knew you was fishing for a battle. That's what they all do. Throw out disrespect and pray I respond. And of course, You'll say small room, that's 98% of your career. Like you, you battle in all, you was created in small room volume type settings. Respectfully, Easy the Black Captain only has one really big stage battle and that's versus chess. Did his thing in it though. We're not gonna act like he didn't do his thing in it. I'm just saying, when I think of it, I can't say he didn't do his thing in it. But Hitman Holla has battled in the small rooms before. He battled Bill Collect in the small room. He battled Cortez in the small room. That battle versus his verb, that's not a really huge, that wasn't no big ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say it was small, I'll say medium. You know what I mean? But um, Easy the Black Captain says, I'm really not though, I just seen a video where you said who and rookie figure I see what's up. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate the response. Have a good holidays. And you know, that was pretty much the end of that. Uh, you know, that could be something that could potentially move, but I see if Hitman comes back and sees anybody from this newer era, it's probably going to be Geechee Gotti. Geechee Gotti just battled Loaded Lux to most, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to debate or hate, to most one. Um, so now Geechee Gotti's at the forefront. He could start to get all of the bigger names like the Murder Move, the Hollow the Don, the Hitman Hot. Like, he's going to want all of those battles. Why? Big money, big events. And Geechee Gotti, um, he has found a way to be very, very difficult to beat. It's very hard to get clear wins over him because by the time you get to the third round, it always be like, I got that 1-1 one, one going into the third. You know what I'm saying? Like, Geechee Gotti, it's hard to get Geechee Gotti down two rounds to kind of clear him out. If anybody could do it, you know, based on the setting, the stage, the area, the environment, Hitman Holla could. Now watch this. Hitman Holla says, starting with Geechee, I heard he got a phone call last week. I wonder what he waiting on. I'm ready. Like he's saying, starting with Geechee, like you going to be the first nigga I eradicate. I'm coming for you first. You know, I hear everybody talking about you. I hear your wins. I hear your accomplishments. But you are going to be the one I start with on this new mission to reprove what I've already proved. Okay? Geechee Gotti responds, you know I'm not waiting. 
I got the call and heard you needed a warm up battle first. Guess I'm dangerous. I was already plotting your retirement party. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours, by the way. Wait, 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 wait. Warm up? He, he been just battled like two months ago versus Calico. What the hell did he need a warm up for? Nah, 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 nah. And so when I heard that, I was like, nah, I'm not jack. I'm not jacking that. Nah, Hitman don't need no warm up. If they gonna do it, they can get it, they can get it going. Hitman responds, warm up, don't let them lie to you. I don't even do layup lines. Like, I don't need no layup line. I'll be ready for you. When you when when they send that send that check, come for a verb slogan. Um I think that would be exciting. I think that would be riveting and groundbreaking too because both MCs have accomplished a lot. Now I will say this, when it comes to Gigi Gotti, I've said it before and I'll say it some more. He's done everything that he's supposed to do right in battle rap, from building a brand, from becoming a big name, becoming a superstar, taking his talent serious, taking his craft serious, not taking a thousand battles on Joe Blow Small League every week. Like he's done what he's supposed to do and now he can say, look, I want Lux. I want Murder Move. I want this person. I want Calico. He's going to get every name that he asked for. And I could be like, and I could go battle like Reed Dollars on an on 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 off week. You know what I'm saying? Or I could battle A Ward like I'm doing again on my league. I could take him and just, you know, do that. But I will say this about, I'll get back to the Hitman and Geechee in a second, but as far as Hitman goes, I mean as far as Geechee goes, his battle versus A-Ward is very important. He can't go out there, lose to A-Ward, get 30 by A-Ward, or get smoked, and think that people are not going to count that. It's not going to be no, oh, we ain't counting that because it happened on the right. Nah, nigga. Them recaps are going to be the same way. So hopefully... He's treating this as he needs to. When I spoke to him and we did an interview about a week or so ago, he did tell me, you know, it was for his legacy and he was taking it serious and it's important to him. So I, I do see that being a war. L.A. is a little different, though. Like, you, <laughs> being a Yeezy in L.A. is not going to be an easy task. If anybody can do it, it's somebody who's done it before, which is none other than A-Ward. So we'll see where that goes. But as far as Hitman and Geechee, uh, I like it. I like it, especially with this new um, energy that Hitman's found. Not and not new energy. He responds to what he responds to. Like he probably gets called out for battles and called out in situations, damn near every day. Even when the situation first happened with his girl, like niggas was like battle rap niggas. Like every other week is like, yo, tell Hitman I'm outside. Or I and I was like, bro, like y'all rushing him. He's not even in battle mode. Like when he's in battle mode. Then when he tweets or when he says the shit that he says, you can respond to it. People could blog on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I mean, you can blog on whatever people want to blog on. But speaking on it and, you know, kind of like pushing the issue, the narrative for a battle, when a nigga's going through the shit that he was going through, I'm like, nigga, I ain't about to, to, to make no blog on whoever's tweet about, yo, telling a nigga I'm outside. Now, when he's saying it, Hitman himself, Oh, yeah, it's good money. Let's get it. Like, uh, he's saying he's ready. Cool. Uh, I do respect what he's doing for his community. I respect the fact that he's out there, you know, going to different colleges. And, you know, a lot of people don't never get to see nobody who they've seen on TV. So continuing to embrace fans and be in different places and settings and things like that, when he could have just easily shut down, like, yo, I'm not, I, I ain't rocking with this no more. But, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get that bag, gotta support his family. But a battle with Geechee... Would definitely be something I would like to see. I'm cool with Easy too, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at that. I like what Easy the Black Captain does. But Hitman Holla kind of saw the play. It was like, throw out a little disrespect. Hope to get a response. You know, then the phone call. Hey, uh, I was just, I seen, I seen the blog about you and Easy. Do you want to, do you want to battle on the world? And those are respected. You know how that shit goes, man. But anyway, happy holiday weekend to all of y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm um, getting back to the blogging. A little bit more frequently. I know for the past week or so, I ain't really dropped much. Showtime SP been at work, and I've been taking care of some things. But, you know, everything's good. I hope all y'all families is doing well. Uh, you know, and also, uh, you know, make sure y'all send, send prayers up to for Fonz. He lost his homeboy, Rodney Dye Ty. He's, he was actually a battle rapper, too. I've seen him in a couple battles. I've seen his name on some flyers. He battled clean paper. Uh, he lost his homeboy not too long ago. And Fonz has been having a, a pretty rough go because uh, his battle with... Real name Brandon is not going to happen this weekend. 
his battle with Tink the Demon on traffic didn't happen. And I think the him and Luke Castro had got pushed back to Chris Brown backyard. So he's been having a little rough go as of late, you know what I'm saying? I'm just hoping to send positive energy and uh, hope that it, everything works out for him. Because uh, I know a lot of people was looking forward to that Tink the Demon battle. Tink the Demon himself uh, was saying that Briz was supposed to jump out in the third round or some, something like that. And he's like, yo, it's a wrap. That's not going to happen no more. Uh, you know, he's, and I, I got Tink the Demon's tweet from that day. Well, it's a wrap. I'm not spinning the blocks. I was fitting to leave Earth in the first and land in the third. It was only to bring Briz back. To the culture, F it, don't ask me because I'm not doing it. I'm not, the culture got cheated that night. All we invest in the craft and sacrifice of life, whatever the case may be. And Briz was at the battle, so maybe he wasn't in the jump in. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I know as far as artists go, it'd be difficult when you're preparing, you're preparing, you're getting all your stuff together, you know what I'm saying? You're preparing for a battle. You're getting your mind right, you're staying up late nights creating all these rounds and then like a day or so before the person you're battling is like, yo, I'm not going to be there. So I, I know that kind of sucks. But um, salute to all the MCs and I hope all is well, you know what I'm saying, with Fonz during this time. But other than that, gang gang. She like the red light, green lights to beam on I used to wonder what it be like, it's a dream on They won't catch me at the red light, my team on go Had that gat on, you get your leg on, you gon' go The city watch, cops try to find a shooter, they don't know We has been a block, if we miss a op, you gon' explode I ain't never have a problem with a bitch or a hoe Do a beam on the Glock, and the 